Why, hello there. You'll see from the versus recorder that I have a few new Pokemon put onto my team, namely that Garchomp and that Azelf. Uh, the Azelf works really well for me, as you'll see in this video. I pretty much tear this guy up, and this was the exact opposite of what I last uploaded, the battle against Mudquaza. Instead of me epic failing, this is me uh, doing some <laughs> big alonage, I guess. So... I lead off with my Stealth Rock Garchomp. It's an interesting set. You guys might see it later in one of my future videos. Hint, hint, wink, wink. So, go for the Ice Beam to break the multi-scale. And, holy crap. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard that or not, but... Yeah, my window's open, and I just hear, like, the craziest noise. So, I'm gonna uh, go for the Ice Beam as he goes for the Dragon Dances. Uh, I think he has one up so far. So, Ice Beaming, super effective, uh, four times, that's going to do quite a bit, actually not that much, and I was thinking that you guys might be getting tired of seeing Chris Ellie on every single team, uh, the thing is, uh, the 5th gen OU metagame is pretty much dominated by dragons, namely Dragonite, Garchomp, Latios, Latias, uh, not Latias as much, but, uh, Salamence, a uh, few others like Hydreigon, um, and that weird other dragon thing. Oh, and Haxorus. So, there are a lot of new dragons. So, having this, uh, Cresselia with the Ice Beam and the huge bulky defenses is really nice. And that's why I've been using it so much. But I was thinking you guys might be getting tired of using it. So, yeah, I'm going to be switching it up a bit in some of my later videos and I'm gonna go pretty much stall this guy out with toxic and ice beam and shiz like that so this video is already half over because after this Dragonite is taken out the rest of it goes really quickly so Dragon Claw, Moonlight, Ice Beam, you know the deal uh, next he's gonna bring in this Garchomp, this is what I'm talking about with Garchomp and like all these dragons like even I was using a Latios before but I have sort of stopped using it because I don't really like it I mean it's it does massive damage and it's it heats it, it uh, can't talk it does massive damage by hitting the enemy's weak point and um good for taking out giant enemy crabs so Yashi Berry I get a crit and it didn't matter because even with the Yachi Berry, Ice Beam would have 2 H KO'd. Uh, yeah, so he goes for the Crunch. I'm getting bored of Mikaela being alive, so I just let it die. Uh, yeah. So, still have 22 HP. Goes to the Infernape, and... Whew, finishes off my Mikaela. So now I go into my Azelf, who will pretty much sweep the rest of the team. And, um... Go for the Psychic to take off this Infernape. And now I go... Uh, he goes into Kill a Clown, which is his Rupushin. Another thing that dominates the metagame, which this Azelf is a great counter to. So I go for the Psychic, and this guy's a Kill a Clown. And he sort of looks like a clown, but he's not that much of a killer. So his last... Well, actually, it's two more. He has a Starmie, and he has a Ferrothorn. So... I've sort of pledged myself to never use the Ferrothorn, because I just really don't like it. Plus, it's the number one OU Pokemon. So, I actually finished it off with a U-turn. Wasn't expecting that. Go into Rush to finish off the Fer Ferrothorn, but he just uh, runs at this point. So, yeah. Good game. Uh, pretty straightforward. Pretty fast. See you guys later.